r slash ask reddit what is the biggest way people waste money something i'm guilty of eating out too often both at work and at home making your own food is much cheaper and often much healthier i know i should bring my own lunch to work because spending eight dollars a day for one meal is stupid but most of the time i just don't feel like it it's sad same here i make up excuses like i don't have enough time but the reality is i don't make it a priority cigarettes edit smoking's a bad habit but it doesn't make you a bad person edit too goldie i couldn't agree more i have stopped smoking for three days now i have saved 18 dollars so far it's been hell but the money in my pocket doesn't lie shit man that's one packet in australia Reddit gold. Edit. Some magical redditor has changed my views on reddit gold. It indeed is not a waste. Edit 2. I think we made reddit happy today with all these gold accounts purchased. This is a secret ploy to get people to give you reddit gold to create some sense of irony, isn't it? I'd be lying if I said that there isn't a possibility of that being my motive. Yes. I bought a mounted squirrel head off of Sky Mall once. I'd say that was pretty stupid of me. Edit. Picks because it did happen. HTTP. Colon slash slash. Imgur. Com BCC 40 GU. I will buy that from your future garage sale. Rather genius if I may say. Interest. On anything. Credit cards. Loans. Whatever. Pay it back as soon as you can. With credit cards. Don't. I repeat don't. Let interest accumulate. Why would you not just make the payment completely? You're paying more than you have to. If you can't afford it, you shouldn't be swiping in the first place. Edit. I fully understand that sometimes a loan or a credit card is unavoidable. I'm trying to push the fact that interest is a waste of money though. So pay off anything you owe as soon as possible. Say you need to fix your car and it's too. Zero zero zero. Before you make another purchase for yourself, pay off the 2000. Too often do I see people making payments on a TV and then going out and buying a computer with financing. Or people who have this idea that are afraid to see that much money leave their account at once. In the end, financing payments nets you a bigger loss. Pay it all off and make the money back. And please for the love of god do not think that the minimum payment on anything is all you have to pay. Edit edit. Thank you you slash nose nuggets for the reddit gold. There's probably some irony in there. Buying reddit gold when talking about how to save money. But it's much appreciated. And so that all the people who have pushed this point can get their idea through. Yes. Interest can make you money so it is not always a bad thing. If you know what you're doing. And other rates are making you more money via investment. S. The average person does not do this though. So if you knew what you were doing. You wouldn't need my advice, and if you don't know what you are doing at all, then you are the kind of person who should be heeding the advice above. Payday loans are the worst, and yes interest is only money lost. Payday loans need to be banned. 90% of those who take out a payday loan can't afford to pay it back, since they were in such a state that they needed a payday loan. So there's little chance of them paying it off without getting into debt with someone else at it. I probably didn't say what I meant. 90% cannot financially afford to pay back the loan without either selling assets or going into more debt. Buying daily coffees and other cheap food items that can be easily replaced with something cheaper or made at home. If somebody buys a $4 coffee twice a day, there's $2. 500 a year gone. At work we have a coffee club. $5 a month. All you can drink. Most of us stopped even making coffee at home. That is an incredible deal clarity for everyone telling me that their office has free coffee. I work mostly outdoors so I don't have a break room with a coffee machine and I forgot that others do. Textbooks. I pay hundreds of dollars and some I've opened maybe four times. Edit. I've learned the tricks now. I'm just saying this happens far too often on college campuses. Edit. Okay. Guys. I need to specify something. I do read textbooks. There's just some classes where they're completely unnecessary and way too expensive. I keep all of my major related textbooks and refer back to them often. Philistube. Com search for them. I got gold last time I posted this comment so here it is again. HTTP. Colon slash slash. www. Ebex download free. 
com http www alex home ws here are other websites http colon slash slash soft archive net http www libra ripper at ph http www eberek 3000 com http share a book free com http it ebooks info http www mirrors me ebooks http www eberek 3000 com http www Thefra Library, com http, n, book fee, org http, n, wiki books, org wiki main pageants, pirateraverse, info, tpb actually, edit, added you slash sathia school comment here for my own reference, and thanks for the gold stranger, http, colon slash slash, gen, lib, russ, ek http, libgen, info http, bookers, or gauge ttp www shared books com this is a really sad thread beer in bars eating out for lunch or dinner are a waste of money cooking at home is healthy as opposed to going out some people like spending money on going out not everybody lives in suburbia not everybody eats american fast food when they go out going out is not always unhealthy and spending five times as much in a bar than buying a six pack is not always a bad thing or an act of ignorance one day i will be dead and whatever money i have or have not spent won't matter as long as i am reasonable with my finances it should matter more what joy you get from the context in which you spend money not how much you spend in total if it makes you happy to save 1000 pounds a year on sandwiches then fine I live in London and lunch is one of the greatest parts of my day. It is social. It makes life worth living. So does going out a few times a week to a nice restaurant. Yes I can cook. I don't see how any of this is mutually exclusive. If you can't afford it you shouldn't spend it. But declaring a lovely lunch with friends or workmates or a dinner during the week as a waste of money seems to stem more from boring living conditions than from actual conviction. Edit. Reddit gold. You money wasting bastards. All the tips in this thread are great if you really struggle for money. But you are 100% right. Denying yourself pleasures like a meal out just because it's cheaper at home, or going to a fancy bar. Sometimes being sociable is more important than saving a few quid. Chill out bro. Of course everything should be taken with moderation. Third party ATM fees. It is ludicrous the exertions I'll make to save $2 in ATM fees so I have money to go buy $50 worth of overpriced drinks. If you get Charles Schwab checking, they reimburse your ATM fees. So you can use any ATM, pay whatever fees, and then at the end of the month they give you a credit. The credit applies to the fee charged by the ATM vendor. Other banks, say, Bank of America, don't charge you for using the outside ATM but you still pay the fees charged by the ATM vendor. Schwab doesn't charge extra and then reimburses any fees charged by anyone. Bottled water, $1, 25 for that tiny Darsani, never, unless you're in Mexico. Darsani could save you from dysentery. Our homes are constructed like Swiss cheese. Most of us are wasting vast amounts of energy heating and cooling our homes as most of it quickly escapes through holes and seeps through walls etc. We have the technology to construct efficient housing, even net zero housing affordably, but we don't. Um, dad, is that you? Didn't you just say this exact same thing to me like two days ago, right after you yelled at me to shut the back door? At least he doesn't scare you with a man who doesn't have an arm. Not going to class. Having to quarter so many red coats in my house. There's an amendment for that. Just feed them lobster. It's cheap and tastes like shit. Buying vowels. They are a sucker's bet. Three letter word. Showing a T and an H do you really need to buy the E? All you're doing is giving the producers their money back. The only time to buy a vowel is when you do not have a reasonable guess at what any letter on the board might be. This is after the most common ones have already been guessed. Edit. Okay. I got it. Will not make that mistake again. Like ever. I disagree entirely. You buy the E because you know there is at least one on the board. Potentially unlocking many more E's. And helping you solve the puzzle before you spin bankrupt. Yep, every spin is a chance to lose everything from that round. 
If you've already racked up a lot of money and no aval but no consonants, it's obviously the right choice to pay $250 of money that may or may not end up being yours for a risk-free chance to get closer to locking your money in. Prize puzzle? Absolutely always buy a vowel if you know one's up there. Spin as little as possible. Beats by Dr. Dre. Edit. I personally use a pair of Rasuel headphones from Newegg. Excellent sound quality and very adjustable volume. I'm interested in hearing what you guys use. I'm sure r slash headphones has something to say about this. Apparently Senhiza, Audio Technica, and maybe Clips are popular here. The manufacturing cost for a $400 pair of Beats is something like $20. I don't get how consumers can buy something because of a name without doing any research. Especially if it's that expensive. Cigarettes. My dad smokes about 3 packs a day. So, $21 a day. So $7,665 a year. How do people have time to smoke 3 packs a day? Say it takes 5 minutes per cigarette. That's 5 hours a day smoking. One of my father's old bosses used to use his lighter maybe 3 times a day but smoked 3 packs a day. He would literally light his cigarette with the still burning butt of his other one. All. Day. Long. Putting $1500 rims and tires on a $500 car. I have a theory on this. The $500 car will cost $750 to repair. A $2000 car will also cost $750 to repair but still looks like crap and now you have more sunk cost for an item that might last 3 years instead of one assuming it's not broken into or stolen. $1500 rims make a pose look gangster and acts as a very real and everyday form of conspicuous consumption and when that $500 dies or gets wrecked you can spend $500 on the next one instead of $750 on repairs and move the rims to the next car. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying there may be a rationale for what should be considered a rational behavior. Also I spend too much time listening to Freakonomics while driving through the ghetto diamonds. They are Iraq, which is expensive due to the fake demand diamond seller slash makers make by releasing only a few at a time. You are better off buying gold, huge weddings, HD TV channels. Buy a $20 HD TV antenna and you have basic HD channels for free. Edit. How can I forget? People waste the most money on brand names. I used to work for a wedding photographer. The amount of women that would come in driving beats to shit barely running cars. But giant shiny rocks on their hands spending 20 grand plus on a wedding would just amaze me. I knew my wife was the one when she said she was willing to wait for a ring until I could get my finances straight. And when I brought her along to purchase a ring. She worked with me to get something I could afford that day rather than something I could afford to pay off over the next 5 years. Surprise no one else has said this. Throwing away leftover food instead of eating it later. I've worked in the restaurant industry for years and it's appalling the amount of food that gets thrown away that would be perfectly fine the next day. I constantly pack my leftovers and eat them for lunch. I ate leftovers for lunch nearly 8 years in a row. My lunches were always so much better than the squashed and soggy PBJ that everyone else had. However, up until the last month or so, there was no way to heat anything up. I can eat almost anything cold. But lord, the microwave is magical for taking leftovers to the next level. I could never work at a restaurant because all that waste would drive me nuts. I actually get antsy just thinking about it. That's free food for months. And I could feed the homeless guy on the corner too. TL. Doctor I like leftovers. Cold or hot. Waste them I will not. Going out to eat for most meals instead of learning how to cook. Edit. I mean going out for the majority of meals. I don't mean going out to eat with friends or once in a while is a waste of money. Edit again. Apparently people are mistaking waste of money with waste of time. Also eating out for lunch instead of bringing something with you. I save about $50 a week just packing leftovers or sandwiches. Learning how to cook. Shopping for healthy ingredients. And the preparation and cleanup take a lot of time. My boyfriend and I are experts in the kitchen. But after pulling a 10-12 hour day. Sometimes it's nice to let someone do all the work for you. I don't consider that a waste of money. 20 ounces. Bottles of coke. Or pepsi or the like. Those are typically between $1. 
49 and 2 dollars 50 where i live and yet the 2 liter bottle is often on sale for 0 dollars 99 and the regular price is only 1 dollar 25 i have friends that think nothing of buying drinking 2 3 of these a day they basically drink the equivalent of 2 liters of soda but at 5 times the price they spend almost 2 dollars 000 a year on overpriced soda all the coke your friend drinks equals poor health equals dies years earlier than they should equals each year they are dead they are not buying coke equals savings in the end when you say it like that it's as if we can't afford not to buy coke bottled water cable tv trading your car in before it's paid off not taking advantage of a retirement match from your employer if they offer it I live in an area with awful tap water. It tastes disgusting. I buy bottled water for the convenience of it. But I drink primarily from a refrigerated beta filter system. Consider adding a whole house filter. Even if it's just under your cold line on your kitchen faucet. This is what I do. Small food items or drinks such as bags of chips or soda at gas stations. I do this quite often. Trying to break the habit though. Teriyaki beef jerky is so overpriced. So much so that I almost want to buy my own cow and just leave it out in the sun in a baby pool full of soy sauce. That's how they do it, right? Throwing away good food because the packaging tells them to stop IT. Edit. Please continue with the LPT and share the knowledge folks. I do this all the time because I'm convinced there's some sort of magical switch that automatically turns the food into something that will make me die. I sell expired food for a living. Let me help ease your mind. Fresh meat. If you stick it in your freezer before the fresh date is expired, the meat will stay good for at least a year after freezing it. So long as you don't thaw and refreeze over and over, then you have freezer burn. You. Frozen meat. It is good for a year after the expiration date. Canned goods. Still good for easily two years after the already super long expiration date dry goods. I. E granola bars. Pop tarts. Anything packaged or individually wrapped. Those things will last you six months after expiration. If not more. Milk. Good for seven days after expiration another helpful hint. Fresh produce will last much longer if you keep it in the fridge. I had tomatoes in my fridge that lasted two months before they went bad. We got an abundance once. Didn't go through them quick enough. Same goes for fruits and other vegetables. I just take them out of the fridge an hour before I want to consume them because I don't like them being ice frickin cold. Companies put expiration dates on products so that consumers will throw them away and go to the store and buy more. They hope everyone is the same as you. I get samples from my company's warehouse on occasion and I promise you, I have never died from consuming said products. I have eaten ice cream that is over a year after expiration. Still delicious. I have also made chicken pot pie with turkey that was about 9 months after expiration. Still delicious because it was kept frozen. The only thing I've ever had a problem with expiration is popcorn in a bag. Something happens with the butter and after about 6 months after expiration, it won't pop. I promise you won't die. My customers eat this product on a daily basis. And I eat it. 2. Sorry this was so long. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight colon. TL. Doctor. Companies put expiration dates on product to scare you into throwing away the product way before expiration and going to buy more from them. Antivirus protection suites. All you need is a lightweight virus scanner with a dose of common sense. Common sense is often incompatible with my taste in porn. Microsoft Security Essentials is enough for the job and doesn't badger to you at all. Moved to it after AVG started bugging me to buy the paid version. Tax rebates. The number of people who lose hundreds of pounds because they can't be ducked to fill in a few forms. SMH. Edit. Pound symbol sterling not LB. The number of people who lose hundreds of pounds because they can't be ducked to fill in a few forms. My American mind was extremely confused. It's the brand new weight loss plan. It's called tax evasion. Weddings. To be bluntly honest, I think spending money on them is a total waste. I personally think it's a special event that hopefully you'll only go through once in your life and that it should be financially treated as special. That being said, people who spend 
000 on a wedding are retarded edit. Apparently the average amount spent on weddings is around 20. 000. I work out a lot and it's unbelievable how much some people spend on supplements. You don't need intra workout. Fat burners. 5 different types of proteins. Etc. Especially. Some of the diet pills that go for $40 and are bullshit to begin with. 20 grams of protein from whey protein is cheaper than most other source of protein that are 20 grams of protein. Everything else you said is correct. Fat burners are just overpriced pills of caffeine. Multivitamins don't hurt but aren't needed. ETC ETC. Buying everything name brand. Except Q-tips are 100% worth it. And Band-Aid brand Band-Aids. The knockoffs are really bad. Weddings. I can't understand how people, who aren't rich, will spend 15k plus on one day. I'm planning a wedding and my budget is strict at 3k. I've had friends laugh and say I will never be able to do it. Duck you. Yes I will. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It just has to be a party. Big secret. Don't tell the venues it's for a wedding. I swear they jack up the price threefold for weddings. Baby supplies. If you want to have kids. That's cool, but people have been raising little people for millions of years without having to own multiple $200 strollers, and car seats with plush microfiber gel seats. My goddamned furniture isn't even that nice. Why does a 10 pound baby necessitate a $400 car seat? I just had to go shopping at a baby's R us for the first time last week to buy a shower gift for a friend. My mind was completely blown by the cost of so much superfluous bullshit that's marketed to these poor childbearing saps as necessary items. Yeah when I had a baby I just made my own car seat in my wood shop. Strapped it in with bungee cords the baby turned out mostly fine besides a few splitners and getting bumped in the head a bit when I stopped too quickly. When I had a baby this story didn't end well. HDMI cables. My father yesterday spent $30 on a cable. When I told him he could've gotten them for much cheaper online he said he didn't want to wait. I just saw Comcast guy with his van 7-Eleven and asked him for a couple of HDMI cables. He dug them out of his van and gave them to me. He should have rented them to you for $19.99 a month and offered you replacement insurance for $4.99 a month extra. Coke and soft drinks in general. At least $2 at every restaurant and much more for big cases of them. It adds up to be a problem on the wallet and the pancreas. Not taking care of their teeth. 3 minutes of brushing flossing per night can save you thousands down the road. Horse armor. Lottery tickets. In some of these games, you have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning. But lightning doesn't set me up for life. Excessive breeding. Edit. Excessive breeding by people who can't afford kids to begin with. Riot point. Smoking. My cigarettes are $5 a pack and I smoke a pack every other day. I'm hoping to quit soon. But I'm a little nervous. If you don't smoke now, don't start. We buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. We repeat platitudes we didn't make up from people we don't credit to get karma that doesn't matter from people we don't know. If this hasn't been said yet, consumer electronics, you guys have no idea how badly everyone is being gouged on cables and accessories. That Yamaha speaker you bought for $90 is worth maybe $5. That $80 HDMI cable is worth no more than $2. Be smart about shopping consumer electronics. Stay away from you local big box retail store and don't buy them from your local Wally Mart. Check out online retailers that are cutting out the middlemen and are selling the same high quality stuff at a fraction of the cost. Sorry ladies, but handbags, I just don't get it. Women's clothing doesn't have usable pockets. Where are we supposed to put our stuff? When he says handbag I don't think he means a purse or two, but several objects that say coach or gucci on the side. To be fair same can be said of all branded apparel. The man company. Store. Jarred baby food. What a rip off. Make your own and save a ton of money. 
Febreze. You can make your own for pennies. Just water, a little baking soda and some fabric softener. Edit because people are either wise asses or I am just that unclear. These are two different answers. I do not feed babies Febreze. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.